All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. I know it's been a few hours, but yeah, so I had to uh, had to go. Well, just had to go help out with something. So we have some trouble dealing with this shit, but uh, what I'm going to do before I deal with that stingray and get what we need from that. I'm gonna go fight the other things. Hey DJ, how you doing? I just wanna make sure, 199, that was it. Yep, we got the Vilia. I still can't get, I'm, I'm a bit confused by the, uh, by the sprite. What does it drop anyway? Oh, it's a human, okay. No resistance, this absorbs everything. What a shitty enemy. No, not right now. Um, well, kinda, but not really. I'm trying to get a, um, some of the rare drops, but I don't know how long that'll take. So it might take a long time, it might not take very long. Hi, Mike Blade, how you doing? How you been? Alright, let's go to where history is. Actually, I don't know where history is, but we'll go to the goal. Because we can find the history Lethos there. And we can try and get this Judgment Staff. Was this for gold? I'm doing good, actually. I, uh, I started this earlier, and then I had to go help out with something, so I stopped and decided I'd come back tonight. Which, it's not night yet, but point is, still, same deal, I, uh, I had time. Alright, let's go rest. That's the pub. The pub really has no purpose in this game, other than to play the piano. I guess you can go there and you can probably learn where to go if you weren't following a guide. Which makes sense as well, like, you know, adventurers would go to, like, you know, the tavern and be like, Hey, heard any rumours? And they'd be like, yeah, oh, McKean's a... <laughs> uh, pervert. I was going to say a different word. <laughs> Didn't realise, but probably shouldn't. Spizner. But DJ, if you're there, if you want to like, jump in, we can uh, we can chat. Yeah, so I'm not grinding necessarily, but I probably do need to as well. I am behind on levels. Everyone's very weak. I may or may not have turned off my uh, what's it called? My um, goddamn, what is it? Uh, my experience in order to get a to learn a level 3 magic, and uh, forgot to turn it back on for nearly four hours. So for about four hours in-game, I wasn't earning experience. <laughs> Alright, let me load up Discord and just get it ready, and then we can, uh, we can chat at the same time. This is a this is something I've been wanting to do. Why the fuck is my computer stupid? There it is. So this is something I've been wanting to do for a little while. No, maybe not for a little while. But I've talked about doing, so when I have to do like the last bit of grinding in this game, uh, what I'll do is just talk to people in, and we'll just have a like, almost like a podcast, but only shittier because it's me. <laughs> but just featuring uh, some people. Alright, just gotta make sure that it's working. Alright, um, that's DD. Oh, DJ, not DD. There he is. <laughs> I just saw the last thing I said she was Peter Griffin getting the death note. Hello. Uh, hello. I'm just gonna make sure that your audio is coming through, and if I need to turn you up or down. <laughs> you and me both. Yeah, you are very quiet. I might turn you up a bit. Uh, let's see, where is... Hang on a minute. Oh, why is... Why is this being a bitch? Oh, he's muted currently. That also explains. There he is. Perfect. What the... You were muted for a second. Yep, my bad. 
Yep, you're coming through now. I have to go in, because I've got it in a call, I have to go in and manually change it in Streamlabs to be going for the call, not for you. Gotcha, yeah. So I'm turning you up because you are quiet sounding. Uh, start talking. Uh, uh, one time, uh, I went down to JB Hi-Fi to see if they had any, uh, <laughs> any, any, uh, fuck. <laughs> I'm not good at they had improvising. What? <laughs> I don't know, I was trying to think of something no, funny. A little. It's just so that I'm not talking over you too much. Yep. Alright, I thought you were going to do a one-time at Bandcamp there, I was like, okay, he's going with that. I've never seen those movies, so... Uh, I, I, I would know. not recommend them at our age. Yeah, no, they don't sound... I've, I have watched them, uh, most of them once. Not all, I haven't seen all of them, but I've watched most of them once. Um, God damn it, Lena's dead. Oh, okay, someone has fire, so that's going to kill these things. Hang on, sorry, I'm, I'm just... I've got you muted in Discord, so you uh, just hang on. Sorry, one second, one second. Oh, if I'm muted in Discord. It's going to sound weird because there's a delay. Yeah, it is. There is a decent amount of delay, but I'm now louder than you, so maybe just <laughs> turn me down a bit or turn you up. I'll turn myself back up to uh, about <coughs> seven, about uh, seven five. That's normally where I keep, and I'll bring you down to um, I'll bring you down to about point eight. How's that sound? Okay, okay, okay. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, give me a second. Just give it about. Because I was just listening to it through a different thing. Yeah, we're, but, we're about equal now. That sounds good. So, yeah, this is what, um, to explain to everyone Actually, else yeah. again, so this is what uh, I will be doing probably in the yeah. post game of grinding, where I'll also uh changing the config and probably boost it to times four i've only got it at times two now still i could probably turn it down now we have gotten a lot but i'll keep it at times two because i'm happy with that number uh what was i saying about yeah and uh we'll probably have dj and also dd in that one but for now i'm grinding for stuff so here's dj say hello 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 i was thinking of um afton not afton whatever his name uh, is yeah. I think it's still up for debate whether or not he's active or not. Cool. But a uh, phone guy. Yes. Hello. Hello, hello. Uh, I like how I don't like those games, but I often, I do often quote that one line, even though I'm not a fan of those yeah. games. It's just funny the way he says quotable, it. Quotable bits. Well, I only quote him saying, hello. Iconic. Yeah, exactly. It's fucking, it's iconic. Whether you, whether you like the game or not. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's how I felt with the movie. Yeah. God, I don't. I, I, okay, you're gonna you're gonna make fun of me because I'm gonna tell a story involving a VTuber now. Yeah. <laughs> it's involving Chibi because she she loves those games, as I know from having seen her in video in streams. Um, and she took her parents to see uh to see the FNAF movie, and she was so excited because in her head she's like they're gonna love it, they're gonna like get obsessed with the lore, they're gonna like play all the games on it, and then afterwards she was like, what do you think? Like it was something. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, yeah, what do you Aww. expect? Yeah. God, I feel old and she's uh, uh, just knowing about her and she's only a year younger than, than me. <laughs> and she makes me feel like an old man. Well, you have always been very old man coded, I feel. <laughs> old man maxing. Yeah. Old maxing. <laughs> yeah, no, I have Wait, always like been that way. I know yeah, ninety-five percent of the sentences you start begin with, "Man, I don't understand these things." These days, <laughs> especially when it comes to memes. I don't get this thing. Yeah, exactly. Memes don't make sense, and it angers me. <laughs> well, that's that's like half of it. Well, it, you know, depending on the meme you're, you're looking at, but Music specifically, I remember the one that at least made me laugh because I find the image. Just is it the is it the, the face when, when it comes to like ah oh, yes bottled water or something or no uh -huh. no I, I that one I hated I too that one but what it's, one? Uh, <laughs> it was like I wish someone would love me the way this cat loves this orange or oh something. yeah that and one it's a it's, a, a, it's a, a bird on a watermelon water. yeah <laughs> it annoys me <laughs> it's like it's stupid <laughs> oh I'm out of that's why it's funny that one... <laughs> Stupid. That's the equivalent of saying loud equals funny. Yeah. Eh, that's... I will say, at least yeah. Dee Dee's almost... Maybe it's just an autistic thing. Because <laughs> Dee Dee's the same yeah. as me yeah. when it comes to someone. I'm like, 
Because uh, I told you how it was through it's him, I learned what the fuck Phantom Tax was, because he had to look it up, and I did not care enough to look it up, but I heard people saying it, and I thought, I don't get it! Is it meant to be a play on the word Phantom? Like, are they making some joke about some hidden tax or whatever? No, it's just to do with some fat guy. Yeah. Apparently it's a, it's a Kaisenat thing. Ah, oh, no, no, that's why I don't like it. I'm not a, um, I'm not a fan of him. I have nothing against him, it's just not my kind of content. Same with, uh, I show speed. Like, I have nothing against the guy, it's just not my kind of stuff. Yeah, that guy's fucking crazy. He is, that's why like, I'm not I've... a fan. Like, I've seen some of the stuff he does, like, mm, yeah, not for me. But again, it doesn't mean I hate the guy, I just have nothing, like I said, I have nothing against him. I don't hate him, it's just not my kind of stuff. I'll tell you what, like, granted, I did see this on Twitter. That's why so I never liked Mr. Beast, go on. Yeah. But, um, just people like, of all, of all the streamers, like, he's, uh, Speed is actually, like, kind of an interesting guy. Like I've seen his dick. goes around, like, exploring the world and shit. Like, he does. I think he's, I don't know where he's traveling right Can't now, but it. he actually gets out there and does stuff. Not just hold yeah. up in his room, surrounded by money. Like, he's fucking living his life, and honestly, like, fucking more power to him. Yeah, like I said, That's I have awful. nothing against him. Good on him. Yeah. I've seen his dick. Okay. <laughs> it fell out on stream. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, he was he was in I think he was just in boxer shorts or something and he was like something happened, he was cheering and then just boop, out through the fly of him. And then I believe it was um I believe it was Sandman who sent it to me. Because of course he did. Uh, because hey, if there's big dicks big black dicks around, you know the first person who's gonna see it is Sandman. You all know that first hand from a friend of ours. <laughs> I still find it funny that he that he got that sent and then he sent it to everyone else. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Alright, I couldn't see. Yes, steal. yes, very much so. Mm -hmm. I don't think he'd care, but I'm not going to say his name. Just, just in case. I know, that's why I said I'm not going to. I don't think he'd care, but I won't. Yeah. I mean, well, his his handle is literally his name. I know. So. Then again, so is Logan's. <laughs> yeah, true. Well, he's, uh, I think he's actually changing his name to the Quantum Log. Oh, I like that. That's better. Yeah, it is good. Much I better do, I, than Logan the Liability. I do that's... like calling him a Liability, <laughs> but yeah, it is just his name. Yeah. <clears throat> no, to be I, fair, I, I like, think oh, it's mean. But yeah. It's, yeah. Uh, it's, it's like self-deprecating. That's, that's never good. Fucking pump yourself up. <laughs> be, be kind to yourself. Be kind, you rewind. Know? Scratch that. Reverse it. <laughs> so what I'm trying to do here is uh, I'm trying to get these rare steals, and apparently what I can do is I haven't using time magic. There's a spell called Return. It's super cheap. It costs one MP, and it resets the entire battle. And supposedly, what I can do is instead of having to try and find the enemy every time, I can just steal because thieves are very fast. So it's the first thing that happens that I can do. I can hit, I can steal, uh, and I've got gloves that make it, that, oh, I got it, right now, perfect. I just got it, so, um, yeah, you, you steal, uh, I have gloves, like, so they make it a 80% chance to succeed, and then if you f don't get the item you want, you just go down to your time mage, use return, and the whole battle resets, everything, like, health resets, ev MP resets, everything resets. So because MP resets, technically the return spell is free, because it's one MP every time. <laughs> And your MP resets. <laughs> it's kind of crazy if you think about it. Alright, so what's this staff like? Sorry, I'll, I'll, I just want to check this quickly because I was just grinding for this. I'm like, well, let's see if it's any good. It says it's good. Ooh, cast Dispel. That's... Ooh, that's some good attack. That's actually not bad. I, mean, I need to go rest in and in. Yes. Speaking of um, stuff, have I talked to you at all about... Uh, oh yeah, you would have seen my tweet, which has comments on it, but I can't read them. About uh, oh, yeah. Assassin's I Creed. Gonna go check that. Yeah, I don't know what's up with that. I even went and checked engagement. Uh, it mentions people commented, but I'm like, I can't see them. It's possible that it's like porn bot responses, and then it's... Maybe Twitter's like automatically muted them? I don't know. I hope that they have, because yeah. that would actually be really smart of Elon. So, for that reason, actually, I don't think it's true. 
Because he's fucking... I can't say that word, even though I feel like I should be allowed, because once upon a time I would have been labelled as such. Legally. But, um, so I should get the pass. I get the R word pass. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, no, it's... I do, that has happened a lot, like, I, when I was, um, when I was, like, I've tweeted some shit, and it's like some random person likes it, I'm like, who are, who is this person? And I look at it, and it's like, porn, porn, and I'm like, oh, good, right, yeah, okay, cool, you just want some OnlyFans chick. Why are you getting random shit to do with some random tweet here, and you're liking it, or whatever? That part makes no sense. Like, the, um, what do you call them? I went to the wrong place, by the way. Uh, <laughs> just now. So the, um, like, the... Whenever I make a tweet about, like, starting a new series and I get artists liking it, that makes sense. Because they want me to pay them for <laughs> commission work. For Twitch. That makes sense. But me talking about the fucking one live action One Piece and then a random porn bot, uh, OnlyFans <laughs> chicks, like, likes it, I'm like, what are you doing? I don't know if you even know what a One Piece is aside from the character of Nami, and you probably only know about her because she dresses her for your videos because it makes people go awooga. Damn straight it does. But maybe there's just a porn bot out there that's like, man, this dude's spitting hot facts. <laughs> yeah, fuck the live action One Piece. Well, it was, it, was I, it, it was multiple different uh, different ones. <laughs> it happened more than once. There you go. I, if I went through, I could find out, but maybe I Maybe they honestly be honest. were agreeing with you. you <laughs> I know? highly doubt it. What, that would require a, a, a woman agreeing with me? If that's happened, then... Uh, that means hell has frozen over. <laughs> the Elzebub is yeah. rising from the depths. Alright. I've got like three more rare steels I want to get. Next thing's from a bird called Rook, and it's really painful to fight. Actually, all these things are pretty painful to fight. That's why I feel like I did end up a bit underleveled because I fucked up. <laughs> like, legitimately, so, I, I think I did. Go on. So, what is up with the. How does the. the... So you can just set your XP to multiply. So the So the remaster lets you boost XP if you want, and there's, and gil. And because in this one there's two types of experience, so you get your normal experience points, which levels up your level, and then there's APB, don't ask me what that stands for, I don't know, that levels up your job, which is your class, because you can change your class whenever, and there's all different ones, and leveling up multiple classes, like you get background stats for that character. Gotcha. Yeah, so it, it boosts your, so like, you know, for example, leveling up your, uh, the knight class to max, you'll get like, you'll go up to 28 strength in the background for your char for that character. And then you can level up, you know, leveling up black magic, uh, black mage, you'll get, you know, an increase to MP permanently for that character when it's maxed out. So that's what that is. Uh, some of the, some of the uh, blue magic you need to get, so blue magic is uh, magic that enemies use, you have to get hit by them and have the ability to learn them and then win the fight. You don't need to survive, you just need to get hit by them. Some of them are based around mul level multipliers. So, for example, actually, I can check this in a minute, because I'll, um... Because they're a bit weird. Let me just rush this fight. Hmm, Milo. But yeah, um... So yeah, one of them that's really good is level 5 death. That will cast death on... I can do it right now, here we go. So yeah, death, level 5 death will uh, hit enemies with levels that are multiples of 5. Level 3 flare, levels that are multiples of 3. Level 4 graviga is multiples of 4, and level 2 old, multiples of 2. I had to get level 3 flare, meaning I had to have a character with learn at a multiple, at a level that was a multiple of 3. I believe I had uh, a bunch of people at level 36, and the red dragon that gives me that was far into the dungeon. So to make sure that I would stay at that level, I turned off my experience, went through the dungeon till I fought it, was meant to turn my experience back on to one times, so I only keep it at one times, and unless I'm like post-game grinding to the max level I need to be for the trophy, and then I'll put it to four times, but um, I forgot to do that, and it wasn't till yesterday when I was streaming and I was in a very long dungeon, super long dungeon, I had 28 chests and it was huge, um, I noticed none of the enemies were giving me experience. I'm like, why is this? Is there just no enemies in here that give experience? And I went into the thing and checked the boost thing and noticed it still said zero times. So, Because I had forgot to put it back to one times. <laughs> so yeah, so there was like... Yeah, so there was a whole chunk of time where I was, I was getting through it fine, but it was a 
was uh, having to struggle a little, but yeah, I had it set to zero. Because you can put it down to zero, zero point five, one times, two times, or four times. I keep it on one. So zero point five is if you want to get like have it be really slow. Zero is if like for example you don't I don't know you want to do a level one run, which I think is impossible. And then again, you can boost it higher because these games do require quite a bit of grinding a lot of the time. So it's just to make things a little bit easier to. Yeah. For less grinding, because again, you got to remember when they came out, games were still pretty small if you think about it. So they had to make them monstrously hard, or and make it that you could have to spend time doing a lot of stuff, which they've kind of gone away from. Now they've made the games long, just normally. There's still grinding involved a bit, but for the most part, you don't really need to grind in modern Final Fantasies. Yeah. Modern being 15 <laughs> and 16, which I haven't played, so I could be very wrong. You still had to grind a bit in 10, and 11, and 12. Sorry, no, wait, no, sorry, not, maybe, or probably in 11. 11 was the first online one. Uh, where is it? It's in this lake between Crescent and Fork Tower. Well, I, I assume Fork Tower is the big-ass tower by Crescent. Yeah, here it is, this is, this lake. Any games coming out that you're excited for? There. Actually, hang on, let's just look and... I've got a few things wish-listed that's yep. coming up. Uh, I know Epic Mickey Rebrush came out uh, the other day. Ah, oh, there you go. Mm -hmm. um, Killing Floor 3, pretty keen for that. Don't know when get... that's coming out. But... I couldn't get into the second one. Uh, I, I quite enjoyed it. It was okay, except for the fact that there was, uh, after like a week, a bunch of people were doing the very fun thing of sealing doors behind them and making that you were stuck on the other side. Ah. Yeah, what shit counts. Yes. Um, there's a there's a game called Vane. Uh, that one's coming out soon. It's <laughs> no 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 not not the main one at least. <laughs> it's, um, it's this guy like... gets it. It's a mix between DayZ and uh, Project Zomboid. I'm noticing a it's pattern like, well, here. Yes, yeah, so I, I quite like zombie games. That is my favourite genre. But um, it's it's well, it's essentially just first person uh, Project Zomboid. That would actually be cool. with... Yeah, yeah, it seems pretty fucking dope. Actually, um, the D first person Project Zomboid already exists. It's called Zombie for, by Ubisoft for the Wii U. Oh, yeah, Not really. True. I never finished that one. Neither did I. Yeah. But it was good. It wasn't bad. Yeah, it was. It was actually pretty good. I think it was. Yeah, playing it on the Wii would have been a bit of a fucking nightmare. Really. I don't know what that would have been like. Yeah. Um, what else is there? Uh, I've come across this uh this game called Diesel Knights. Okay. So essentially, uh very reminiscent of Titanfall 2 mm -hmm. where it's like but set in World War 2 if they had mechs and it looks fucking dope and it's like Diesel very Knights. very small team making it like it's a complete indie project it looks fucking awesome mm -hmm. just of like what they've got so far do you know of the uh, term Diesel Punk? yes yes yeah yeah so, yeah, yeah it's yeah, a Diesel it's what Punk it is, yeah. I can tell. Yeah. From the name Diesel Punk and the setting. And yep. Yeah. Diesel Punk's cool, not used enough. Yeah, like shit looks awesome. Like the 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 mechs they've got in this look so fucking cool. Mm. Looks you know, oh, it looks amazing. And yeah, I'm very keen for that. Um What else was there? Another another one in the in the zombie zombie line is No no More Room in Hell 2. That's I'm... interesting. No More Room in Hell was the tagline for um, Day of the Dead. Precisely. Or was um, it Dawn of the Dead? I can't remember what the Night of the Living yeah. Dead sequel was called. It was either Day or Dawn. The, the, the two others he made were Day and Dawn, but I don't remember which one came first. Yeah, I got no idea. But yeah, this one, it was a... I don't know, I don't know what it, it's like one of those, I want to say like source mods, I think, 
You know, it, it, I... Hang on, hang on. It's a pretty old game. It came out in... Was it Sailor Moon? 1974. The year that that saw that naked snake defeated Peace Walker. Bugger. This game came out in 2011, and it's extremely janky, but it has like a very dedicated player base. It's like one of those, it's like a modified game of another game type thing. Mm -hmm. I don't know what the original game is, but. Like, I want to say it's it's like a Half-Life mod or something like that. It's just some furry porn simulator. No, no, it's a zombie game. No, it's I mean like... the original game. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be hilarious okay. if someone did. Well, actually, that kind of is something nuts. almost like that. I know that there's a very popular mod for, um, what is it, uh, for Hoi 4, that's the Equestria War, which <laughs> is all about My Little Ponies being the, uh, being the characters in World War II. <laughs> yeah, it's a very popular mod apparently, and it's got like a, it's got a huge, well, big following. Which what are you are you surprised? And there's a big crossover between people into My Little Pony and also obsessed with Nazis. Yeah. <laughs> to be fair, that can be with anything. Yeah. Did you know that uh, Sandman was obsessed with My Little Pony? <laughs> that explains everything. Uh, I am not yeah. at all surprised to hear that. Yeah. And if you ask him about it, he will deny it, but it's I'm very going. much so in the same vein of... How he doesn't know, how watch VTubers. He, yeah, how he doesn't watch VTubers. <laughs> yet he knows everything about it. I know. It the exact same situation. Yeah. But anyway, so No More Room in Hell. It was very janky, but like, it's a very slow zombie oh, game, and you have fuck all to work with in it, and it's like, truly like you feel like you, you die Fuck instantly it. it's a very very hard game it's got a very like a very decent small player base very passionate fans and they've announced a like proper standalone eight player co-op action horror experience for the second one and it looks so good cool it looks blah. and it's like I think how it works is everyone spawns into this map and it's I don't know how to describe it like Tarkov -esque? but not not Tarkov esque I, I think I'm not sure 100% but mm -hmm. but it's like everyone spawns in and like you can meet up together and then you gotta like complete tasks or something, you know, like, get to a fuel station, collect, you know, supplies and stuff, and then you'll see, like, off in the distance, like, the lights of a building turn on, and you're like, oh, are the survivors over there? Let's go meet up with them. Or, fuck, what are they doing? They've just turned on something that's gonna fuck over what we're doing. Hmm. Sounds it's, interesting. Yeah, it's like, dynam and dynamic objective maps. It's Is it going to be like Days... Uh, not Days... Yeah, was it Days Gone? What was the one that, that came out and wasn't at all what was promised? I mean, that could be every game. Yeah. No, Days Gone was the one yeah, that got no. shut down after a week because they basically stole people's money and well, and literally one of the uh, tweets Ooh, they put out one. was the one where oh they said God. shit happens when people were like, what's up yeah. with this? Yeah, that one was... That was a funny Holy story. Holy shit. Mm. That was insane. Yeah. That was... a hilarious... But not mm. hilarious. It was fucked. What those cunts were doing. Concord's funnier because Concord was an actual game and it uh, cost eight million dollars. That's that's. Sad. It's their own fault. They were making it's an eight. It took eight years to make, and it should have come out eight years ago when it when it was meant to be existed. Like it's that's the time the game would have actually worked. And nowadays, no one cares for live services, but they keep still trying to push it because it generates a constant stream of income. But people just don't really want it. If they're going to play it, they're going to stick to the ones that have been out for a while. And they're not going to do others. It's the same with what happened with the whole, um... What's it called? Um, Battle Royale genre. Like, a bunch of companies were pushing for that because they saw it being popular, but it's like... People are just going to stick to what they know. They're not going to, they're not going to like, put in investments into new stuff, really. If, if you got in at the right time, you got in at the right time. Now it's too late. 
it's like what was it? it was Pyre Unknowns, uh, Fortnite, and then and then uh, the one you like Apex. That's really the only ones that I think people play. And I don't even know if people play Pyre Unknowns Battlegrounds. Hate like plenty of people still play that. Oh, there you go. Still very popular. But I feel like those are the only three that people do, and, they, and people will try doing others, and it's just never worked. I mean, fucking Bethesda did in Fallout 76, and apparently it was fun, but I don't know if people played it enough. So they shut it down. Mm. Yeah. They put it into Battlefield 5, no one played it. They were trying to make Battlefield 76 a whole Battle Royale genre, and then they realized, oh, that's a mistake, and had to change their mind, and then still no one played it. I hate everything I character that. Sorry, Battlefield 76? What? Yeah, the new one. What the fuck? Well, well whatever the well, last one's called. The... Not 76. Whatever year it is. 20... 40, 42. I don't remember 40. the year. It was a crap 40, game. 40, something like that, yeah. Good lord, that's Battle Royale. Fuck Apparently that. it was meant to be. And if you rewatch the trailer, you can tell, oh yeah, no, that's very clearly the trailer is implying that this was meant to be a Battle Royale. But then it got people excited because it showed off that one bit everyone knows where a guy jumped out of a jet and shot another one out of the air with an RPG. And they're like, oh my god, they're calling back to the good old days, and then they realize that oh, shit. So they had to change it to something else. They have said that for the next game, they're getting rid of operators and they're going back to nameless goons for the yeah, uh, characters. Good. Yeah, I hate I operators. don't even play... I don't even play Battlefield, and... Like, I know that's such a stupid fucking move they made. Well, I know why they did it, I've told you before, it's because they wanted to, yeah. it's the whole hero shooter nonsense, which even Call of Duty did with, starting with, uh, was it, was Buck Ops 4 Black did it, Ops didn't 3. it? Oh, was it 3? I know yeah. 4 did it. Oh, I got the weapon, nice. Technically, you could say Black Ops 4 did it first, because that's a prequel to Black Ops 3. How? Black Ops 4 didn't have a story. It, it still takes place before. It, it, it had... The tutorial, which had little cutscenes, it, it was very strange. Yeah, I do love yeah, the, the, uh, the original announcement of it when the guy said that there's no single player, and even he didn't sound confident about it. Yeah, really. Fucking hell. Hey, the good news is that sort of whole thing is kind of dead, I think, now after the uh, last Battlefield 42. I believe yeah, it is. Hope, yeah, was. hopefully people genuinely move on to something else. They have because said the next I... Battlefield will have a single player, but again, take that with a grain of salt, it's EA. Yeah. Because <clears throat> it genuinely feels like there are now the staples of the genre of a Battle Royale I'm still talking about here. And no one else is going to fucking dethrone that. Like, that's what I mean. Yeah. Debt in its fucking ways. Same with live service games, try. though. That's that's the same deal with that. Like, yeah, they're not, exactly. There's nothing else going to change. Like, is or, or even hero shooters? Like, it's it's basically it's TF2 in the case of hero shooters. It's TF2 and it's Overwatch, and that's it. And people hate Overwatch, and TF2 has been falling apart for years. It's a stinking shit, basically. Yeah. Uh, attack. But yeah, um, I don't actually know any big live service games. I guess technically anything, like technically Call of Duty is live service now, isn't it? Well, yeah. With pretty, the whole battle pass pretty, and yeah. shit. Which, uh, again, yeah. Yeah, even Fortnite is then technically also that. Because, like, I always hear live service, but I'm never 100% sure on what that is. I'm pretty sure that's like, um... I, uh, technically a lot like of games kind of have Warcraft, it. Well, oh, that's an MMO. That's right? an MMO, okay. Um, uh, what's Destiny? Destiny 2. Yeah, Destiny is. Yeah. But it's also got MMOs. Yeah, 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 yeah. Technically, a lot of games have live service access. There's anything where there's constantly stuff happening to it to try to keep people around long after the game's yeah, been out. Yeah. So any like any yeah. game can do yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, for example, even Assassin's Creed Valhalla did it. Like they added in free updates to try to keep people playing the game, even though it's like it's it's single player. It's only single player, but they can even do it with that. Motherfucker did exactly enough damage to keep killing this one chick who's my weak link in the chain. And it's really mean to say anything bad about her because she's literally a little kid. What the hell are you making a little kid going to battle with the demon bird for? Her granddad was in the party and then he died and then passed on her powers to his powers to her. God damn it, my Oh no, my time age is alive. Ha ha! Eat a dick. She's a thief currently. But yeah, um as I was saying, oh, 
There we go, it's dead. Perfect. And I got... Oh, Bart's is... Oh, Bart's has finished his night training. Perfect. Let's save. Alright, let's change him from a knight to... I can go with Monk. I do kind of want to get Berserker out of the way. Berserker's a weird class. You don't actually control them. Interesting. Yeah. I think for Berserker, I want to have dual... Actually, I do have dual wood because I have ninja because I want to give him, like, two axes. I did that with, um, with Guy from Id 2. I basically made him, like, a full-on Berserker. It didn't have jobs in that game, but I gave him dual-wielding axes because it was funny to me. And he j he would deal up to nearly 4,000 damage per hit. <laughs> it was stupid. <laughs> but I loved it. Um, Berserker's a pretty fast one to level up, so I'll do that next. Alright, can I give him abilities still? Yes, good. I want to give him... T uh, dual wield. I could give him two-handed, but now I'll go dual wield. I want to give him a knife and a hammer. No, 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 no. You get the axe. The axe is weaker. Damn it! I want him to have that. Okay, I feel weird oh, giving him a knife. You. I'll give him the Sorry, I'm, I'm playing. I'm gaming. That's fine. A curse ring's a weird item. It's the castle oh. doom. Definitely not useful here. Um, oh wow, that is a huge jump from 58 to 97 damage attack. So that's pretty good. That's the it's one of the um, it's a very powerful katana. So it's for, it's for my samurai class. Okay. The one I had wasn't all that great. What do you play? Uh, the finals. The finals. Yeah, the finals. Like uh, the AFL? That's 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 uh. No, I actually don't know what day it is. It's soon. Uh, today. That is. Oh. Very much so today. Yeah. There we go. I knew it was very. So I didn't know. If, like I didn't know if it was uh. I didn't know if it was. Ago? I didn't know if it was uh tomorrow. For Sunday, but uh, I guess it's today. All right. Cool. But yeah, um, as I was saying about live service stuff with uh Assassin's Creed, oh. so. Uh, That's in... bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. That's all good. It's funny to you playing a game. Uh, so in Valhalla, they added as a free update the river raids, which was basically just more of the um, more of the whole raiding aspect of what you could do with um, raiding places. But there were only a set amount that you could do in the main game. These ones were repeatable ones along a river, and you know they get harder as you go along. Your people on your ship can quote unquote die. They basically if they get wounded enough and die, they're just out for the till, for the rest of the raid till you go back. So you need to try and keep them alive, all that stuff. And uh, there was some unique legendary weapons in there. Like the you get the weapon you get the sword and shield of Saint George and the armor of Saint George. Speaking of okay. the speaking of the NRL <laughs> But um yes. No it was uh but yeah but no I mean the actual Saint George which is hilarious because I actually don't even know when Saint George was around because Assassin's Creed Valhalla was around the six, no, the seven hundreds or the eight hundreds. You won't know. On I, I will. I'm just double checking. When was Alfred the Great? Yeah, I, I wouldn't have a clue. Alfred the Great. When was he? Yeah, yeah until eight eight yeah uh, eight eighty six until eight eighty nine eight ninety nine. So it was in the eight hundreds. When was Saint George alive? I actually don't know. Oh, third century. Okay, so he was around then. He was around before then. Okay. I don't know why, for some reason I feel like he was later, like, after England was founded. Like, uh, by William. Uh, the bastard. Alright, so that's the Rook. Where is the Sea Devil? Oh, same lake. Oh, great. The annoying thing about these Sea Devils is that they can appear with the Rooks. I got lucky, and it appeared on its own. Oh, that's one danger I didn't even think about being a Berserker. I might need to change him for the moment, because he's going to attack <laughs> anything. I guess it doesn't matter if he does, as long as I steal from the first one straight away. Oh, I've still got it, baby! I've still got it! <laughs> Fucking little cunt. No! Ah. Fuck. Alright, never mind. Ah, she got it. What is the finals? Um, it is a... 3v3v3 uh, arena shooter? Where everything is destructible. Oh! And you gotta try and uh, collect a box filled with money, and you gotta put it in this ATM thing. Uh, you gotta do that twice in order to win. It definitely sounds and like everyone a is trying to. Yeah, it's it is very fun. It's very good. Uh, 
and they just recently had their brand new update. Nice. And yeah, for their new season. Hey, I don't make the rules. That's what they want to call it. They can call it that. That's actually another thing. What started the whole idea of calling like them seasons and whatever? Uh, I want to say that was Fortnite. Was it? Because I feel like it might have been Fortnite, yeah. but I don't know. What the fuck happened there? I think that was the hammer that my uh <laughs> that I gave to Bart's. Has a chance to cast Quake. Good heavens. Oh fuck, no wrong thing. Oh, damn it. I need Krille to not fail with steel on these guys so I know whether I need to is... reset it. Where am I? Ooh! Oh! I was so lost. Alright, hopefully that sea devil does not have it because I need to reset the battle. Cannot wait another round of going through all that. Chuckles, we're in danger. Hey, I got it! I was, I was, that was easy. So I just got the best, uh, a very, well not the best, but a very powerful sword. I'm going to use any Nage, fuck these enemies. Zeninage is a very powerful move, but it uses up my money. I think literally it's my it's a samurai throwing my money at the enemy and hurting him by hitting him with coins. Alright. Well sadly Bartz is no longer a knight. I would have liked that when we he was. Um But he isn't now. I actually need to change his actually it doesn't matter yeah, no, I'll change him over the way. Uh I want it to be something heavily armored. Ooh. It's literally gonna- I'm, he's gonna be this for like, what five monk? minutes. What's up? Oh, sorry, no, I'm talking to myself. I think he said, do the monk. No. <laughs> I will make him a monk. For a moment. I need him to have learn, because I need him to, uh, learn this magic by being hit by it. Alright. Lena, no abilities. Lena, you need to keep time magic. Faris, which is scary because I'm gonna have to change where to you have control. In fact, you know what, Krille, I'm making you a white mage temporarily. Look at look at Krille's white mage sprite. It's so cute. If you look at the screen, it's on right there. If you look at the stream, I don't can't see a damn thing. It. <laughs> Oh shit, I needed a sword of steel. God dang it, that won't work either. Oh wait a minute, hang on a minute. Can I... Bollocks. That won't work. I realise that won't work, She's... I still need to steal from uh, from them. God, if only she had a white <laughs> magic already. Have the Hypno Crown. Okay. And you've got Learn, you have Dual, you have the Control, we need, and the Time Magic, we need to reset everything. Okay. Let's go rest in. Oh, uh... get fucking big, you shit! Oh. Okay, he went. <laughs> the fuck kind of accent was that? How dare you appropriate Jeez. my culture? <laughs> my, my Scottish Irish culture. Sorry. <laughs> Huzzah! Alright. So this enemy Stingray is a bitch to find, first of all, and it's a bitch to deal with. Because for some reason when I was fighting before, it gave me like a... such a low chance to do anything. It also has a really nice drop, but it only has a 6.25% chance. I could try to get that, but I do want to also steal its Rune Blade, which is apparently a very powerful weapon as well. But I also need to learn Mighty Guard from it, so I got a lot I gotta do with this guy. Anyway, where was he exactly? 
It's over here. Yes, here it is. Here's the coast. Land. Got you, bitch. Fuck, 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 fuck. Oh. <gasps> no, fuck. No! It's Argonauts. It's alright if they get it. Alright, now I can just rush all these fights. The first few enemies that I hear are super weak, except for this Stingray, and I can just rush their fights. But it's just... It's just such a rare spawn, and it only spawns on the coastline, right here. Keep them off it. No, keep them off it! Oh, they might get this. Oh, I think they've got it. Oh! You know, so thinking about in recent oh, later games, they did kind of they kind of like dual classed some people because um, I'm thinking about Tifa, how she's like you know her attacks are all with her hands like a monk, but she also has the ability to steal. Yuffie's a ninja, believe it, and uh, but she also has the ability to steal like a thief. Barrett's like a mix of black mage and ranger because he's he's uh, he has a gun for a hand, so you put him in the back row, and that and as such, he's also really good for black magic. And no, I'm not saying that because he is black. <laughs> and then, of course, Aerith is just a pure white mage and, I guess, kind of a summoner if you want. But then again, also, um, anyone can be a good summoner. And then there's Sid, who beats his wife. And he's also a Dragoon, but he beats his wife. Why is that just his thing in all of these games? Oh, not in every game. Only in seven. <laughs> it's only in seven he beat his wife. I'm dead. And I, but specifically, Ooh. the reason I would I reference it every time when I streamed, um... God, no one's going to remember this unless they were there for it. God dang it all to hell, my character that I need to rewind time with got fucking murdered. Straight away. Right when I needed to rewind time with her. Uh, what was I saying? The character from, um... Fucking, what's it called? Uh, from Kingdom Hearts. Specifically, that was FF7, Sid. So that's why I kept referencing every time he was there. It's like, it beat my wife. <laughs> Because domestic violence is funny? <laughs> take that out of context and I'll never work again. Oh, shit. Please have it. Nope, dark matter. Uh, so I spent ages trying to get this stamped thing. I want to get the uh, item first, because once I get the item, oh, I can God. then just... I could actually play it safe. I could even get the item, kill it, and then find another one to get the um to get the other thing. You know what? Since I failed that, I'm actually going to do the uh, control now and uh, get the ability. Oh, wow. I got very lucky. I got it first time. Oh, no. Oh, uh, fuck, 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 fuck. Oh! No! I fat-fingered it! I think my Q should have... Dark matter. That's fine. I'll still uh, get the ability. Mighty oh, God. God. And now to try and kill this obnoxiously difficult to defeat enemy. It's just got super high defense. I wish I could actually look at its stats here. Nope. Oh shit, I've got no. That's right, I have no one with. White magic, that's half the problem right now. Nice, we want to control it again. Let's take this moment to heal us. Let's go! Hell yeah, first game on. I've got 14 kills. And oh, one. pissies! Oh. I just healed it for 6,000 health. <laughs> ah, you silly goose. Well, I controlled it and used Tidal Wave on it, like, that should hurt it, right? Oh, it's its, its own attack, but no, apparently that healed it for 6,000 damage. So all the damage I've done to it has now been negated. How much does any Nagi do? Because I can just... Nothing! Good, great, good. I can't even use that ability. I've no way to heal. I can try slowing it. Uh, oh wait, I've got, oh, I've got gravity. Damn it! The hit film with uh, starring 
George Clooney didn't work? Was he in Gravity? I can't remember. He was. It was. If he was, he was there for like five minutes and he dies. I can't remember the he guy. Is Gravity. Gravity, the movie, set in space. They're on the ISS, and then one of them gets, you know, lost away. And she's just floating through space, and she's talking uh. to, and she's talking, and so did the other guy. And but she's still hearing the guy through her radio, even though he's dead, because in reality she's not actually hearing him. Spoilers. Although it's kind of obvious uh. that's what happened. And I believe it was George Clooney. I have nothing against him either. He seems like a perfectly fine human being. I don't think he's done anything wrong. In before, I find out he's actually was on Epstein's island. Probably. Oh, so many people were, though. Or at least a lot of people were on his list. I don't know how many went to the island. Like, uh, what's his name? Guy in the chair. Who's super smart. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Stephen Hawking. Like, Stephen oh, Hawking was just smart. getting money from him, because Epstein did fund a lot of people at Harvard, for example. That was kind of how he got away with a lot of it, because he just threw money at, at them, and they're like, we need funding to do our science, we will take it from the devil, because we need it, and we aren't going to get it anywhere else, because Lord knows the government doesn't fund them. No, it does, it's not enough. Alright, I'm actually in a surprisingly safe spot for this fight, it's just needing to beat it, and it's just so slow, because he's dangerous, and I don't want to rush it, because in case I do need to heal, I should be using Gaia, I don't know why I'm not, because I'm an idiot. Oh, good, 3,000 damage. When we get a critical off, it's really good, it does a fuckload of damage and breaks through its defenses. Like in Pokemon. Poison. Po a little poison never hurt anyone. Just ask uh, Socrates. Or as he's known, or as Bill and Ted call him, Socrates. Socrates. I, I just call him Socrates. I often call him Socrates as well. Although, oftentimes I do think of it as Socrates because... Oh no, sorry, Socrates, because that is, I think, technically how it's pronounced in Greek. At least that's how he's pronounced in Assassin's Creed Val uh, not Valhalla, Odyssey. And they did pronounce, I think, all, most of the names in a more Greek way. So, for example, Hipp uh, Hippocrates is technically Hippocrates, I believe. At least going off yeah. that idea. But again, I just know him as Hippocrates. He's the Doctor, that's where we get the Hippocratic Oath from. Do you know what the Hippocratic Oath is, DJ? Huh. Yeah, the... Oh, you do? Okay. No I'm surprised, you just... So, well, it's not history, so I guess that's... Why? <laughs> History, you're like, what? Who did what and when? Although I did watch something the other day, which was very interesting, it was from QI, it was talking about uh, what uh, what war saw the most English deaths, and it was the British Civil War, or the English Civil War, which, yes, makes sense, it was a civil war. So they're only fighting each other. It so is. it's only English people dying. That kind of causes that. Same with how, like, more people died in, more Americans died in the US Civil War, than in any other war America was fought. And it's like, yeah, because they were fighting themselves. <laughs> That's why it happened. That's why there was more that way. But, um... This enemy fucking sucks. I need to look up after this. What's a better way to kill this guy? Because if I'm going to try and get this weapon from him, dealing with this is abysmal. I'm doing 36 damage or 18 damage, and that's if it even hits. Some of them do more, but for the most part... And I can't slow him either. It won't work. But, yeah, um, but it was very interesting, because they were talking about the uh, English Civil War and that, um, and they were saying how most people don't know about it. It's not really taught in schools, a lot of school children don't even know what happened. It just isn't talked about, the, uh, the English Civil War, even though it's their own history. Yeah. I was thinking about that as well when I was watching Clarkson's Farm, there was a whole bit where um, the character in that, uh, Caleb is his name, he went to... Um, he was in. They went to London for something, and there was a picture of. There was a statue of um. Oh, what's his name? It's the Admiral Ad, uh, Admiral Nelson, I believe. And uh. I was about to say Akbar. <laughs> Admiral Akbar. <laughs> it's a trap. 
no, um, <laughs> Admiral Nelson looking at a thing and some, and he was explaining it to him, and he's like, what the fuck's the point of him looking there? And I'm watching this, I'm like, it's, that's your history, guy. That's your country's history, and you're like, I don't care. <laughs> like, what the fuck? But yeah, um, it is weird, I guess, I mean, to be fair, there's a lot of Australian history that's taught, like, Australian history in school is just, uh, First Fleet, and then the next year it's like, guess what we're covering again? First Fleet. Year after that, mm, time for the more First Fleet. And then the year after that, it's like, did you know that the First Fleet showed up? Oh, finally, I killed that fucking thing. I got no XP out of that. I did get 40 APB at least. But that is such a shitty enemy. Although I, that was enough for my for Bart's to jump from level 0 to level 2. So that's pretty neat. Ah, oh, Krillade's Master the Thief. Sadly, I still need her to be one. Now, let's save after getting that. So where is that blue magic? What was it? Mighty Guard? Where is it? I did get it right. Why don't I see it? Missile, White Wind... Yeah, there it is. I'm just blind. Mighty Guard. Pretty powerful spell. Cast Protect, Shell, and Levitate all at once. Yeah, it looks very expensive though, it costs 72 MP. <laughs> I wonder if it would be cheaper to cast it all individually. You do have to waste three turns though, if you did. Okay. Uh, config, bestiary, what number is he? 203. Does he have a weakness I can exploit? Because I don't want to have to deal with that again. My god, he has 30,000 HP. Oh, he's level 93. No wonder he was so tough. Oh, good. No weaknesses. That's that's great. That's great. I could probably use blue magic and half his health. Anyway, I don't need to have control of that now. So I can change all this around. Uh... Blue magic. There it is. Kule, you need to keep that because I want you to still do steal from him. White magic. Yeah, we'll keep time magic because we need to use that still. Okay. Alright. Anything else coming out you're interested in? We're talking about that and then I think we got we got distracted oh, yeah, talking about yeah. live service games. Yeah. Um oh, duty, I guess. Uh, yeah, I think that's, that's about it, I think. See, I can't remember all this shit coming out. Um, the oh, next yeah. Dragon Age comes out on October. Uh, I think it's like literally yeah. at the beginning of October, so pretty soon. Actually, let me find out. I'm just going to type in Veil Guard, it'll come up straight away. I don't need to know, I don't want to see any news, because it's all going to make me mad. Oh god, what's this? Dragons are... Ah oh, yeah, of course, I was pissed about this. The Veil... I'm disappointed to find out that only three choices from the previous game carry over to the Veil Guard, making a soft reboot. Which is the dumbest choice in the world and angers me, and I don't, I don't need to hear that. 31st of October. Yeah. I don't know why they're doing this, it's going to fail. It's going to be the end of the franchise, probably. What they're doing. That's pretty shit. Yeah, I know. They're gonna they're um, gonna kill it. They're gonna kill it off, and it angers me. Yeah. Uh, the only other two things I've got for my wish list are Splitgate Two and Dying Light the Beast. Oh yeah, that one. When does that come out again? Fucking, I don't know. <laughs> Do you wish wish list? It, it just say? says coming soon. Oh, so it doesn't have a date yet. Okay, I thought I thought yeah. they might have given it one. Yeah, I'm, I'm assuming next year. Probably. Something like that. Okay, how much? Wow, Defender is 99 attack. That's pretty powerful. Actually, can I... Oh, I can give her a Mystic Knight abilities, um... Maybe even so I can enchant that. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna make her a Mystic Knight then. So if I do that first, then she can enchant that. I mean, so could anyone, so could anyone else with the thing, but I'll make her a Mystic Knight, because that's a pretty fun one. Also, Borderlands 4. Yeah, that also comes out next year. 
Next year? Yeah, they announced it for Crazy. next year. Yeah. Wow. Well, okay. That feels like too soon. Even though Borderlands Three came out like five years. Yeah, ago. it was a while ago. I think they well. I don't know. I, we don't. I don't know when they had planned to announce it. They might have um been planning for around. Because what happened recently? Um, was it, was it Gamescom or was it just PlayStation had their own thing? I think Gamescom was also recently. They might have been planning it for like then to announce it, but because of how bad the film was, they're like, shit, damage control, quick. Uh, how do we get them on our side again? Announce the new game. <laughs> That'll do it. Yeah. It's like, what can we show them? Uh, we've got. I would have Concept loved if when, I would have loved if when they did that it was like new game and who's our new vault hunter Ava. If Ava is a playable, character, she will be. I bet you she will be. It'll be so funny. No, no, there's no way she will. Be. I wouldn't put it past him. <laughs> Actually, I don't know because wouldn't her powers are the exact same as um aren't they the exact same as uh, Maya's? I think they're supposed to be the same. So that would be Maya's, boring yeah. then because I don't think they do. Yeah. My, I don't think they'd give us an, um, the uh, that game's version of a uh, of a siren as just Maya again, because even Maya as a siren was different from Lilith's, yeah. and of course the siren in three was different from both. And there was well, no, then, well, no, technically, it had very s similar ones to uh, to to Maya. Well, I mean, there's only so much they can do with it. Like the phase graph. Yeah, but yeah. I mean, technically, even what's her names wasn't too different from any of them. Same with Angel. Angel's also doesn't feel all that different from all the others. Like she can, like I didn't even really know her power. No, well, she she is like a technological uh, type siren. Yeah, but she also she had the ability to technology. Yeah, but she also had the ability to um, like you know, enter your brain and talk to you, which still have got. And then um. Yeah, true. Yeah, which Lilith was able to do. So they have some similarities I, to it. I think that's that's just like That's a, just what they can do. Yeah, a siren thing. Yes. It's a siren thing. Yeah, you, you beat me to what I was going to do. It. <laughs> Are you also referencing Twilight? No, I just know the it's no? a something thing. I've never watched Twilight or read them. I'm not uh, a, I'm I, not, I was never a 14... Either. Well, I say 14 year old girl. <laughs> I was gonna say, I was never a 14 year old girl, but I knew girls who read it when they were like 10, so go on. Yeah. Um, I think it's like in the third one or something, where Bella and uh, Edward have a kid, and. Is she like 15? I think so. Well, it's like a few years later, like. I think she's at least 18 by this point. I've got no idea, bro. I've got no idea. But either way, they have a kid. And Jacob in prints on her? Something? I don't, I don't know. Some like weird shit happens and they're like, what the fuck are you doing to my kid or something? And he just goes, it's a wolf thing. Right. <laughs> uh, furries. So, yeah. Wish. Twilight gave us that whole generation of women who were into, probably became, who probably grew up to become obsessed with bad dragon toys. You know I'm right. <laughs> you know damn well I'm right. All the ones that were on the side of... Uh, oh god, which one was the wolf? Was it Jacob? Jacob, yeah. Yeah, yeah, all the ones on his side. You, you know they all bought those those things. <laughs> when they became yeah, adults, I should specify. When they became adults. In fact, I don't even know if that website was around when I, when I, was, when I was younger, when people I knew read it. Because like I said, there was someone I knew when, um, when I was in, like, year six who was reading that, which I don't feel like that should be allowed in a primary school. <laughs> then again, we knew someone who read Fifty Shades of Grey at school. Yeah. But that was in high school. Doesn't make it better, but a little bit. A little bit better. Better that they were at least... You know, not... <laughs> if it was in primary school, that'd be concerning. That would be quite concerning, yeah. Yes. I tell you, just... High school, there was. High school's a fucking very, weird. Yeah. Very uh, vast cast of characters there. Yes. I still think about one person. I can't. I will not say the name. And I, well, because I also don't remember who showed up wearing an Ahege uh, jacket once. 
Yep, that's <laughs> I was about to. Yep, you were going to reference it too. Yeah, I still think yep. about. it. I was like, oh, why? Oh, why do I've talked? This is like the third time I've talked about that on stream. It's just it's forever imprinted in my mind. Like, why would you do that? Also, that's going to be a rough day for the teachers. Because yeah. they, they, they may because if they say something, they have to either admit that they know what that is, or they can probably just tell that it's inappropriate. Yeah. Or even weirder if someone has to like go up and tell a teacher like they're wearing porn on their shirt and it's like, well how could then like, they'll look at you like, well how do you know what it is? Bit of a stealth report. I guess. I guess, I mean, I, I feel like it's... Nowadays, it's such a known thing. I feel like everyone even knows of that, because it's also been memed and joked about. Thanks, yeah. Bell! Delphine, I mean. Yes, I, I know. Oh, I don't know. You might have thought I meant... of a uh, Beauty and the Beast, speaking of people who want to have <laughs> sex with animals. Yeah, that's, that's the first one. Hmm. Yeah, a lot of people made that joke when they did the live-action one. Like I heard people saying, "I was like, the fucking girl from Harry Potter is wanting to have sex with a with a monster, basically." And there's a candlestick speaking <laughs> French. <laughs> That's the part I was most insulted by. Everyone was getting angry about there being a gay character. I'm like, no, 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 no. He's French. Ew. Yeah. Also, how the fuck can you not watch the like original Beauty and the Beast and look at? I don't even remember the guy's name, but be like... Who? A gay person. Oh, uh, you mean uh, Gaston? No, not Gaston. The the little... Lemieux? The, the candle? No, 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 no. The the guy who who's like right-hand man to Gaston. The oh, I don't guy. know his name. I'm just going to call him Smee. <laughs> he basically is Smee. No, nah, that's a fucking, that's a disservice to Smee. Smee's, Smee's great. Smee, Smee's the only one keeping that boat afloat. Yeah. The other, fucking the other guy. The fuck is this enemy? I can't he's find just, it again. He's just a meat riding. The other guy? You mean Captain Hook? Oh, you, oh, you're talking about, Gaston. um, you're talking about Gaston's yeah. guy. Yeah. I just think about from, um, from, uh, Tim Burton's Batman with the, you are my number one, a guy. <laughs> <laughs> great line. Oh, hey, that Batman, that's a good film. He got a star on the Walk of Fame the other day. Yeah. Batman. Just Batman yeah. as a whole. Not an actor, well, but Batman. Yeah. The, the, the original, Obviously. the real life Batman. <laughs> I do know that the guy who played, the original guy who played uh, Robin showed up for the, uh, for the, for it. What's funny is no one who actually played awesome. Batman showed up. Yeah. Well, I mean, um, West. Adam West can't, he's dead. <laughs> And, uh, I don't know, I can't... Th oh, found the enemy. Are there any other non-actor, like, characters on the Walk of Fame? Is Bugs Bunny on there? I Can don't know. Them? You know, I'm gonna actually find out who's on the Walk of Fame. I'm actually but curious. Also, I, like, who, I know, who, who um, I know... For that? What's that? Who paid for that? Because you have to pay to have your own star on the Walk of Fame. Do you? It's like a million dollars or something. Yeah. Huh. It's not just... The guild has decided that you shall now be on they the They do have a guild, it's, like, no, it's the Screen Actors fucking... Guild. Well, yeah, I'm, that's, yeah, what that's, I'm saying that's why is they, had the they joke... don't decide. Yeah, that's why the joke in, uh, was in, um, in Team America was they called them a Film Actors Guild, because it's F-A-G. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Did you just get I that? I did not real- <laughs> <laughs> I just got that. Because <laughs> in real life they're called SAG, but the joke there is that they yeah. then- <laughs> Yeah, there you go. Alright, so Batman's Man, Batman. there, Ewan McGregor's on there, yeah, Tim Burton is. Yeah. These are the, I'm going backwards for it, and Carl Weathers got one recently, but I want to see the whole whole list. Why can't I find a whole list? Why, why? It should not be this. There we go, let's go to Wikipedia. Wikipedia will have a whole list. I just want to know everyone that's on there. Holy shit, okay, there's 2,000 stars. I'm not going through every single one of them. 2,752 stars. I mean, I would read every one of them, but I'm not doing it right now on stream. Matt Damon has one. Matt Damon. <laughs> yeah, a 
lot of these are people. Wow, a lot of these I never. These go back a long time. Like Bud Abbott. You heard of him? I haven't. No. <laughs> he's got a he's got a category for the radio. There you go. There's Paul Abdul. I know. I've I've heard of them. I know Kareem Abdul. No, it's Kareem Ab Kareem Abdul Jamar, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I was going to say, I was about to say it's Jamar, isn't it? I've heard of Paul Anker. He's an old guy. Chris Angel? Like, the, 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 uh, the, uh, it is, it is the, uh, the magician. He's got one. There you go. He does not deserve it. Jennifer Aniston. Amy cool. Adams. And Brian Adams. Oh. Wait, what? Neil Armstrong's on there. Yeah, fuck off. Yeah, and Buzz Aldrin and yeah, Michael yeah. Collins. All three of them are, are on there. What about Roberta Bonda? Who's that? Roberta Bonda. She's, well, uh, have to go down she's to also B. an astronaut. Well, I've got to go down to B to find out these are in alphabetical order. Uh, how do you spell Bonda? That is an excellent question. <laughs> I'm just going to go... I'm just going to look for... I think. Oh, the Backstreet Boys are there. What's oh, that? Oh, B.O. Yeah, B A N. Okay, we're going on the B A. It's in the B A sense. It's like B O N. B. Uh, okay, well, either way, I'm, I'll just go through this and look, look through this. The Kevin Bacon. Bacon's on it. Oh yeah. King Baggett. That's a rough name. What was the name again? Sorry. Roberta Bonda. B O N D A R. I'm just looking for a Roberta. It was B-O-N you said? B-O-N. I'll oh, perfect. I'm right by the B-O's. Bill Boyd, Jimmy Boyd, William Boyd, Charles Boyer, Boys to Men, Eddie. Okay, no, she's not on there. Boys to Men, the whole band? Yeah. There you go. Yeah, the whole band. The, the whole band's on there. I mean, uh, there's a lot of weird ones. Wow, a lot of people have the have a surname starting with B. Oh, Howie Berry's on there. I know Howie Berry is one of the few people who showed up to receive her Razzie Award. Jack Black's on there as well. Yeah, for his fantastic role as Claptrap. Clap Trap. <laughs> okay, we both said it. <laughs> George Clinton? The one who did not have sexual relations. No, that's with Bill. Him? Okay, who the fuck is George, George Clinton? George Clinton has no connection to Bill Clinton. He's a recording guy. He's a uh, he's a singer. He, he's, uh, he did um I've 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 heard of him, but I can't really tell you I can tell you what he's done, but I've heard of him. Steve Carell's on there, oh my god. Drew Carey, well Drew Carey deserves it. Cause Cleveland rocks. No one's gonna get that if they didn't watch the Drew Carey show. <laughs> Remember that time when shows were just named after the actors in it, like Seinfeld? Yeah. Except Seinfeld sucked. Well, actually, no, Seinfeld was good. The man sucks. I like the show. But the show's not funny because of him. The show's funny because of... Was it uh, Larry Bird? Who wrote it? Or was it Larry David? Hmm. Either way, the show's funny because of the writer and the director, not because of Seinfeld. Because Seinfeld fucking sucks as a comedian. Agreement. Yep. Let's what not forget that site. <laughs> Go on. Oh, uh, no, that's, that, that's it. What's the it. deal with... The... Yeah, I know. Um, what's the deal with me dating a 17-year-old when I was 30? He that's did that. crazy. Yeah, let's not forget he did that. Never Remember forget... when I was a bee? Yeah. <laughs> that's what I was going to reference that. So, it's most likely that the whole... Uh, inc uh, not incest, sorry. There is, although there is a small shade of incest in that film. Uh, the whole subplot of of uh, of of him and Vanessa, his character, was probably done by Jerry because he he got to write a lot of the uh, a lot of the stuff for that film. He got given a lot of creative license for it. Okay. And then the reason I'm uh, reason incest came to mind. I watched something the other day. Just someone was talking about it. Uh, because if you think about it, they're all cousins. If you remember, all the bees. Yeah. True. Literally, there's a joke where uh, where 
the other bee is like, they're hot, and it's like, they're our cousins, and then they see others, and it's like, ah, and then she's like, aren't they our cousins too? And he's like, distant, distant. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It is a very odd film, but it is also, it's not a good film, but it is one of those just strange fever dreams of a movie. Yeah. Uh, what? Who was it? I think it was, it was Logan. It was Logan and, and uh, Cop. Yeah? yeah? Yeah, it was yeah, those two. You know what I'm about to yeah, say? Yeah, 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 where they went, they watched it and they were on, um... Something. Uh, yeah, they were on, uh, Happy Substances. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's not any better. But yeah, they, <laughs> they were like... Dude, <laughs> we realized... We realized... That... The B-movie no, like is pro-slavery. Yeah, 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 absolutely. <laughs> they start... They start spitting some facts, I tell you what. Because they're like... Uh, the world goes to shit when the bees stop doing their job. And they had to, like, beg the bees to come back to... I don't remember... I don't remember how... I, they, I, I, how I, I vaguely remember, because he explained it to me too, but yeah, it is It is a very, um... He has a... He, they kind of had a point with what they, they were saying. They had a fucking point. Yeah. They had a fucking point. But yeah, they're also so out of it, I'm amazed they remembered anything. From what I know, I was not there, but yeah, it's, it was very funny. I'm trying to find the uh, build, the ability that makes that halves an enemy level, because this enemy's at level 93, and I want to try and lower him down if I can. There it is, Dark Spark. Hopefully it'll work. Son of a whore. Yeah. I'm trying to think of other just ridiculous movies that I've seen. I'm gonna try Dark Spark again, it's probably, one it's probably a futile effort, but... Okay, I give up. It's not gonna work. I legitimately cannot think of anything. I got nothing. No. I also don't know the last time I saw B movie. I watched it a bunch when I was a kid because my um my grandma would always put it on. Yeah, what's a what's a movie that you'd watch on repeat, either like by choice think, or I don't think I have any movie I watched on repeat. Um, or at least like just watched a lot. Well, as a little kid, I watched uh, Toy Story two so much that I actually broke the disc. Oh, damn! I it just it just stopped working. That's oh, my mom got re replaced it. Oh, actually, one movie I did watch on repeat uh, quite a bit was the uh, the Digimon movie. <laughs> Fuck yeah! I used to borrow it from the library all the time, and then one day my mom saw it in store, and she immediately just had the Digimon Digimon going off in her head, and so she bought it for me. <laughs> and then one day, and then it Hell went missing, yeah. and I never found it. And then years later, I said to her, "It's like, all right, I'm 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 nearly an adult now. I'm like 15 or 16 or whatever. You can tell me the truth. You got rid of it, didn't you?" <laughs> <laughs> she said no, no. She said she didn't, but I have no idea. But <laughs> I, just, I just said that because it'd be funny. But yeah, Rob. Yeah, I have no idea what happened to it. it. Just went missing. I've never found it even after moving. Yeah, true. Twice, like I, you know, three times. I, like we never found it. We moved out of that place. So God knows what happened to it. Yeah. Straight Blizzard. <sighs> Let's go slow it down, maybe dark yeah, spot. For me, I, don't know. Go I would always go to Civic Video and rent out Digimon movie. Yep. And also Spiderwick Chronicles. Oh, I watched that a bunch too. I fucking that was a fun loved movie. that movie so much. Seth Rogen's I never, in it. Like, I didn't even read the book. Neither did I. Oh my god, you're right. Yeah, yeah he's, he's the big bird eating guy. Yeah. Fucking hell. Yeah, it's accurate. They, they made him a pig. That's just mean for no reason. Except no, it's Seth Rogen. He deserves it. He's kind of a prick. Are you trying to do his laugh? Yeah. <laughs> oh shit, I smoke too much weed! That's every Seth Rogen movie. Alright, my fucking Spellblade ability is not working, so once again, I've got a character who can do jack and shit in this fight. Hell yeah. At least I got the weapon from it. It's taken nearly 90 minutes to get all these items. <laughs> okay, yeah. 
Hey, they can take a while. It's been fun, though. And I'm, I'm legitimately trying to think of a movie I've watched a bunch, like, in my house. Um. Hmm. Oh, I used to watch X-Men 2 a lot. I really liked it. Interesting. Yeah. It's a good one. I know I've seen some of the X-Men movies, but, like, I don't remember anything. First Class is really good. I do remember First Class. That one was really good. That one was dope. Yeah, and X-Men 2 is yeah, also really, really good. It's, cre it's kind of creepy. In a good way. Interesting. Is that the one where it's like, you know what happens to a frog when it's stripped? No, that's the first lightning? one. That's the first one? That's the first one. Because I gotta say, that's a fucking dope line. It's I love that one of the so it, It's funny because of how awful it is, but it is one of the worst lines in history. My big issue actually with those films is because Sabretooth gets killed off. It's really weird because they kill Sabretooth off in the first film and then by Origins Wolverine, like they big, the big reveal in that is that Sabretooth was um, Logan's brother in these films. But he's killed off in the first movie, and it never gets referenced that it was his brother. So it's like a bit weird that that was what they were going for then with the uh, with this version of events. Yeah. Oh, by the way, spoilers, I guess, for a nearly decades old movie, probably longer. But yeah, you know, Wolverine actually didn't appear till super late, and his first appearance wasn't even in X Men in the comics. Really? Yeah, he appeared in the Incredible Hulk. There you go. And he fought Wendigo. I don't even know who the fuck that is. He's Wendigo. Yeah, you can you can keep <laughs> saying that. But <laughs> never heard he's, that. He's, a, he's a big guy. Never he's, heard a, that he's a big monster sort of life. dude. He's meant he's named after the well, I say real life Wendigo. It's not yeah, a real the, thing. The it's, Wendigo, yeah. yeah, it's it's not. So I was gonna say real life. Well, it's not real, but it's a fiction. Was, it's a piece of folklore. Yeah, was just all his villains. Animal related? Who, uh, Hulks? Or, no, um, uh, Wolverines? Wolverine. Uh, I mean, they've, all the villains have kind of crossed over. Like, a lot of people have villains that are unique, that are sort of more their one. For example, Victor Von Doom is more yeah. of a, uh, a Fantastic Four villain, but he's been everyone's villain as well. Like, he's. Yeah. Same with, um, Green Goblin. Like, Green Goblin is mostly a Spider Man villain, but he's also been a villain to. Like the Avengers and other people, because he's, you know, he's a pretty big one. He's, uh, no Norman's very smart and, you know, would do all sorts of crazy shit. Not just with them, but yeah, uh, but I, I can't really say too much. I don't know too much of, uh, of, uh, Wolverine's main villains. Actually, the story of the Hulk is really interesting as to how he came about, because he was a failure at first. Really? Yeah, his, his comic lasted six issues, it just did not do well, and it had a lot of problems with the printing. Thank god I got the fucking weapon. Um, and I killed that thing. Good. I'd say, make sure I have it. Um, let's see what this weapon's like very quickly. Saw they use MP to perform critical hits. That's pretty crazy. That's some good shit. Anyway, what was I saying? Yeah, um, uh, yeah, he, yeah, the Hulk. Yeah, he didn't do well. Like, so they had problems with the printing because he's meant to be grey. Um, this is a pretty famous story. What's he say? I, I don't think I'm, I'm familiar with this. Thing. Oh, he's meant to be grey. Uh, but the problem with the printing was that the grey kept coming out in a greenish color. So if you actually read the very first issue, you'll see on some pages he's grey and some pages he's green. It was just, it was something to do with the ink. I don't know exactly. I'm not a printing expert, so I can't explain it. So then they made him green, and he just wasn't very popular. Uh, originally, he it, it wasn't that he t he changed when he was angry, he just changed into the Hulk at night. And the Hulk was a lot more intelligent. Not, like, genius level, but he could... Yeah. Like, he, he had, like, some sort of, like, intelligence to him. Uh, but he just, yeah, he just didn't prove popular. They took him, so they kind of didn't do anything with him. I believe they first started bringing him back in when they formed, when they started making the Avengers as the big, like, first crossover, which was actually fairly early on into even Iron Man's life, because when, I believe in the first issue of the Avengers, Iron Man still had his Mark II armor, or technically not his Mark II armor, his Mark I armor, but that he had repainted gold. 
because originally it was silver, and then he made it gold, and then he made it uh, the more, and then he completely made a whole new armor, and the color for that was the red and gold that we know that is most well known. So if you actually look up, uh, actually I'll just send it to you on uh, Discord, and I'll uh, show it off on here. Let me, let me bring it up because it's really interesting. Looking. I like that I can type in OG and it knows exactly what I need. Thank you. Um, not that you. Why is it so hard to fucking find? It keeps giving me shit from the movies. I don't care about those! Also, armor's spelt wrong because it's American. Silly Yankees. Ah, oh, here we are. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Tales of Suspense. There he is. I will just, um. I'll just send it to you. <laughs> Every time I just see Peter with the death note. <laughs> <laughs> I love that video. Anyway, it's his armor. It's it's very weird looking. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It um, is very reminiscent of the one that he makes in the movie. That's why they did it. So, yeah. Yeah. But it's um yeah, it's just a very different looking thing. He lives, he walks, he conquers. Oh yeah, well it's Tales from Ooh, Tales of Suspense. It's the newest but rest. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, and, it, and then to make it less scary, he painted it gold, and then he uh, eventually made his Mark II one, which is the one we know the most. And uh, it's cool. Yeah. I think I had you equipped armor, didn't I? Yes. Change Krill over to a Ranger again. So he keeps coming up the wrong bloody thing. Is she, is she gonna have the bone mail? Means I can't heal her. That might be a mistake. Oh well, fuck it. Alright. But uh, oh, as yeah. I was saying about the Hulk, sorry, go on. Oh no, yeah, yeah no, keep talking about. Yeah, the Hulk. so the Hulk. Um, so yeah, he did. He, he, I believe he returned then in that one, and he would um in the Avengers, and then he proved popular there, and so they came back with his. Uh, they didn't give him his own comic. They put him in Tales. T okay, so a lot of the co characters got their starts in different comics. That were sort of like uh, how Detective Comics started with how it wasn't just Batman; it was other stories is alongside Batman and it eventually it just turned into just being about Batman. Uh, Hulk started that way too. So he was in that magazine until issue 172 and then starting with issue 173 it was officially called The Incredible Hulk for that magazine because the focus became just on him in the for the stories in that one. They did the same with a lot of characters. Um, Ant-Man started in a in Tales 2... Oh, I don't remember. They, they reference it in the first Ant-Man film. Which I thought was a funny, like, haha. I had, I definitely had that comic book nerd moment. Was like, haha. I get it. When I watched it, um, which is a lot of the jokes and reference in, is in those movies are just a ha. Look at that. But um. But yeah, it was a, it was a whole thing. But yeah, and, and the whole came back, and when he returned, it was a much more interesting. But um, and and that's when they started to change it. That the Hulk he. Banner became the Hulk when he got mad, not just at night, which I think was a much better approach. And technically yeah, the great- going for more of a Jekyll and Hyde type thing. Yes, well, cool. technically Jekyll and Hyde was already kind of like that. The way it was is that Dr. Jekyll became Mr. Hyde when he drank a potion. Oh. Huh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. And then, it, well, he I think it was that he drank it and then every night he would turn into Mr. Hyde. If I remember right, it has been many years since I read that story. But, um, but yeah, it's 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 interesting. And yeah, when he came back, it was much cooler. And there's multiple different Hulks. There is actually a Grey Hulk who's quite intelligent. He wears a suit. It's hilarious. He looks like a mobster. Actually, you've seen that one. You've seen that one TikTok thing of that guy who's like pretending to be like an old style like goon. Like, uh, of, yeah, 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 yeah. He yeah. looks like that. That's that's what that's what the Grey Hulk looks like. That's awesome. Yeah, it's pretty. It kind that. of resembles that. There's uh, of course Red Hulk. Everyone knows that. And technically, yeah. She Hulk also can be. There's also the Red She Hulk. There's also Claw. Huh? Claw. Claw. Huh? Claw. It's it's Hulk spelled backwards. Claw. Oh, get fucked. <laughs> <laughs> it's when the Hulk hulks out. You what? Yeah, when the Hulk becomes the Hulk, he becomes Claw. I'm not making this up. What are you talking <laughs> I'm about? I'm being serious. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> you just you keep saying it, but you're not explaining it. <laughs> when it's 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 a it's a form of the Hulk. It's when the Hulk basically gets so mad he hulks out again and becomes claw. He goes like even further beyond. Yeah, basically. Yeah, it's it's Hulk it's Hulk too. two, yeah. <laughs> or Hulk three, I guess. No, technically oh, two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, no, it, it's yeah, it's just it's the Hulk hulking out. He becomes claw. Well, if you think of if you think of oh, Bruce as number one, then yeah, I guess it would be yeah, Hulk three. Yeah, I was gonna say, but yeah, you don't think of Goku as number one. That's no, there's Super Saiyan one, Super Saiyan two, and Super one Saiyan is number one. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, you get what I get. What you mean? Yeah. Yeah, you're picking up what I'm putting down. I am. Yeah, Claw is a silly. There's a lot of silly things with the Hulk. Of course, he has his kids. Yeah. Yeah, he has kids. Bro, I swear, every every single one of them have kids. Uh yes, a lot of them do. Uh, or they have adoptive kids. Hey, so well, what's his kids? Oh, wait, uh, wait, 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 hang on, hang on, hang on. I think I know. I think I know a little bit about this. They story. appear in Old Man Logan. Something about that's yes. Oh, God damn it! I forgot I gave it the fucking stupid armor. Yeah. Uh, there's I think like two things that I know about this, right? Where there is, yeah, like in Old Man Logan, where he's got his Hulk has his own little part of the country where yep. him and his family just live. Mm -hmm. I can't remember if in that his wife was technically his cousin because, of course, in the comics he was uh he was in love with I forget her name, but the chick who is She Hulk, who was his cousin. Huh. Ya da 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 they wrote incest into the storyline. Wouldn't be the first time. I mean, well, can you blame her? Like, can you blame Sorry, what? her the way she was what? working? What? What? Yeah. What? What? You really, you want to admit this live on the internet? No, I was, I was making a twerking <laughs> joke. Yeah, I, yeah, I was going to say, bro, you want to, you want to, you want to, you want to advocate for that live on the internet? Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> No, I know what you mean. I, I well, I have seen it, and I will. I'm going to say this. I don't see how people find twerking attractive. I don't. It's the least attractive thing I've ever seen. It is. It is. It is a bit strange. I don't. I don't find it. I mean, I. I know why it's sexual. It's because of what it's meant yeah. to represent. But it doesn't mean I like it. it doesn't mean just, I look at it and think, yeah. nice. I'm like, just like ugh. Just want to focus on butts, yeah. and I'm not into those. You, you cannot lie. Not, not quite into butts. <laughs> but the whole point is he likes big ones and he can't lie. I just said I don't like them. Yes, and you cannot lie. <laughs> what am oh, I, can George Washington? Then. You're not going to get that. Uh, yeah, I do not get that. That's... Uh, George Washington, yeah, in a fable, he cut down a cherry tree and then he was asked, and someone went oh, up to him and was like, George, did you cut down this tree? And he was like, I can't tell a lie. I did. That's how George Washington sounded. That's that is now how he sounds. <laughs> Forever. I just changed history. I'm George Washington. <laughs> well, considering he was English, he probably did sound like I'm George. You know, like, he was he was English. Bloody hell, that, Actually, that he I don't know if he was born in the colonies. He probably was. He may have already been born in the colonies, but either way, it's still funny to imagine that's how he sounded. Ah, uh, what do I want to give Krille? She doesn't need uh, equip armor. I'll oh, give her art for Dodger. Uh, yeah, 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 give her art for Dodger. Uh, She's a ranger. Yoni, yeah, 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 yeah. Another game I'm very excited for. Mm -hmm. Doom Dark Ages. Oh, that'll be fun. Yeah, sure. That shit looks dope. Mm. That looks very cool. Speaking of fun things, uh, Space Marine 2 is really fun. I'm, I should be doing a uh, stream of it with uh, Dee Dee and Chris on Monday. Nice. Yeah. Made another mistake. Because yeah. I suck at everything. I, um, I would come by and watch, but I am not allowed. Why? Because I'm not allowed. You're, you're grounded by your mum? No, remember you said that I'm not allowed to consume anything to do with Warhammer. When did I say that? <laughs> you remember <laughs> the weirdest shit. <laughs> you forget uh, all these other things, was, and then you always... Uh, I think we had just finished Borderlands 3 or something, and I was like, uh, the, I think it was a game that was for free at the time, was Vermintide, Vermintide 2, and I was like, oh, that, that'd be cool for all, the, second, all of us to play second. together, and you were like, oh, okay, yeah. 
they're sleeping. Oh, that's adorable. Look at them all resting. No, so that was just saying hello to someone. Yeah, go on. Uh, what I say when we when you want to play yeah. Vermintide? I was I, I was like, hey, we should we should play Vermintide. It looks really cool, you know. It's a four player game. We, there are four of us. Let's play. And you well, were there's like, there's only no, three of us. You're not allowed. I'm like, what? What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> I think I said that because I I think it was my whole. I think I was. Per I think I made me making a joke about, about gatekeeping because you yeah you were yeah, one I of those know. people who was like against it, and I'm like, some things need to be. For example, Warhammer. <laughs> Because some of the people yeah. are really fucking that shit up. Well, yeah, you, I was like, why am I not allowed? <laughs> so, yeah. yeah, I have sworn off all all Warhammer, and I refuse to play anything. To really? Be Just because of my me saying that, and I and I admit I was wrong? Specifically to spite you. No, it's fine, then. I don't care. <laughs> I know you are. I was gonna, I was gonna be a real dickhead just there and say, well, this is technically uh, 40k, it's uh, different from Warhammer Fantasy, which Vermintide is, so it doesn't count. So you can watch it. I think, uh, well, I, I think, just like, from what I have seen, Fantasy does interest me more. Because I like those it's fun. rat guys. Oh, they, uh, Skaven. Yeah, the Skaven. Yeah. yeah. Sadly, Fantasy died. Like, literally, literally they killed it. About... Yeah. Got nearly ten years ago, but they're bringing it back, kinda. So what they did was they they the, the during the end times, which was when a lot of the late uh, editions of fantasy was set, uh, they finally finished that story off, and they had the world be destroyed, and then it was rebuilt basically by the gods, including Sigma. <clears throat> And there's all different worlds that are all connected by these gates and whatever. I can't say too much, I don't know much about it, but that's that game's called Age of Sigma, and it was met with a lot of flack right away because it kind of killed off a lot of armies. Like, people's armies they had spent years painting and making and collecting yeah. and all that were just suddenly that, like, that is so much fucking money as well. Yes. That's, that is insane. Yes, they did do something where they said certain units, uh, models could be used in certain things. So some of them came around, for example, Bretonia got wiped out, that got destroyed, and you, but they made it that uh, you could use Bretonian horsemen as free company horsemen or whatever. And people were still like, um, no, I don't like that. But a lot of other ones came around in other forms, like they were able to use in other things. For example, all the vampires are still there. But the weird thing about Age of Sigma is a lot of the characters from fantasy still are there, they're just... They're just... and they're still the same character, they're still the same name, they're just reborn in a different universe, basically. Because the whole world got destroyed and recreated by Sigma. But because of the, um, because of all, like, yeah, people not being happy with that, and then when Sega and CK, um, not CK, yeah, CK, uh, so yeah, it's Creative Assembly, the guys who do Total War, they made, uh, they made Total War Warhammer, and those games have been super popular. Games Workshop went back and brought back the original Warhammer Fantasy with the old world, it's called. Yeah. So it is technically back, and it's back now, but it's still in its very early phases. Like, they're, but they're going to be—they're supposedly meant to be doing more with it, based on what's been brought about with the um, Total War game. For example, there's a whole country called Cathay, which didn't do much in the original uh, the tabletop game. It's basically China. So, I was—I was, I was going to say, well, the first thing that came to mind was it sounded like you just said kayfabe, like wrestling. <laughs> I was like, that's just a whole country of wrestlers. No, Cathay. Cathay. There's also Ni Nippon, which is literally Japan. There you go. And they also did nothing with them, really. They had a, like a, they were around in second edition, and they didn't have much to them, and then they kind of just wrote them out. They didn't write them out. The country still existed. They just didn't do anything with them, and they didn't give them new models. But um, they still exist in the lore. Same with Cathay. Like, Cathay, there's also Ind, which is India. It's just called Ind. They just didn't do much with them in that part of it, so they're, they're gonna be doing more based on what's happening with, um, with all, uh, with Sega and, uh, Total War Warhammer, but it'll be interesting to see, but yeah, they brought it back, so it is kind of back, but not really, because I liked Fantasy. Fantasy was cool. Fantasy is still cool, but it's, yeah, yeah it just killed it off, and it, and it really annoyed me and a lot of people, and then I went over to yeah, 40k, and 40k's kind of having its own issues. Yeah. That's fucking crazy to me, that someone can just be like yeah this doesn't count anymore and then 
everything that you have is now fucking worthless. <laughs> Same with all the Tomb Kings. Like, all the Tomb Kings, that no, they didn't do anything with them afterwards. Like, they, they got killed off and they didn't... A lot of their models couldn't be carried over. Because the Tomb Kings are... They're Egyptian-themed, and they have things that aren't... A lot of their stuff isn't just um, skeletons. Like, their skeletal warriors are all... Because they're all skeletons. Um, they're all, um, you know, they're all Egyptian-looking. Like, they have, like, uh, their weapon... They've got scimitars, or uh, whatever they're called. Not scimitars, but they're curved. I forget what their actual names are for those weapons. But yeah, that's that's the kind of stuff they have. And it's cool. And they also had constructs. Like, they had, like, statues that were brought to life. They had, uh, it's like, you know, with the dog heads and whatever, and they had like, two swords, and they were huge. They also had big walking sphinxes that were also brought to life. They had all this cool shit, and again, they just made it like, nope, none of that exists. Can't use it. Not canon. Not canon anymore. Well, not that it's not canon. It all happened. It just happened in a different timeline that got, uh, that ended and got remade by Sigma. Hey, sorry, real quick. Um, you mentioned that Epic Mickey was, like, re-released yeah, like, today. No, not that today. That shit a is $100. Oh my god. Disney. What the fuck? Not no. No, I would not buy it. No. Is that, a, is that like a special what? edition or something? No, no, it's just the... It's just Epic Mickey rebrushed. I don't even think it was 70 bucks for the Wii. Because that's, that's what it came out on. Cooked. That is ridiculous. Let's, I blame no, Disney let, for let that. Let me see, let me see. Yep, a hundred dollars. Okay, hang on, I'm gonna jump to a different And screen. you don't get anything with it, from what I can see. Hang on, um, I don't know if- I don't know if Twitch will like me going into the menu on- on here, so I'm not gonna- That last. <laughs> All right, Epic Mickey on here is also ninety nine ninety five. What the feck? What the fuck? I don't know. Like I said, I don't know that's how much cool. Twitch likes if people look at like the online store when they're live. So I went to a different oh, menu and changed back. Fine. Okay, I just don't know. So I didn't. I, I went to a different. I went to a different menu until I to, to search it, and then I went back to show how much it was, and then left. Yeah, that's ridiculous. I, cause I, a part of me was kind of like, I might play that. I might play it. It'd be a fun thing to stream, but I'm not spending that much money on it. No, thank you. It's not worth yeah, it. You could buy Space Marine Two again. <laughs> yeah, for the exact same price, probably. <laughs> no, cheaper, cheaper. I don't know how much is Space, Space Marine Two. Space Marine Two is eighty nine ninety. Oh, okay. Well, okay. So a hundred bucks cheaper. Sorry, ten bucks cheaper. Yeah. And we'll, and again, I can do more with that. Nuts. Game. Did you say those nuts. Uh... No, that's... Oh, that's not... Yeah, it that's is. That's in Splatoon. That is... That is beyond ridiculous. That is not worth it. I think the only people who are going to pay that money for it are, again, streamers who can get it... Ta who can get it back on tax. Because it's counted as a yeah. business expense. Which is true. Yeah. Yeah, they can. Yeah. Not for, I don't think for everything, but they get, they, get, they get some of it back. Yeah. I actually wonder how, uh, how the ATO would go about that. Because I don't know how many streamers there are that do Twitch in Australia as a full-time job. There's one VTuber, I know that, and I only know of that because of, once again, Sandman! Who would have guessed? Yeah. But, um, yeah. she's it's Australian. Sandman. So, and I, but again, I don't even know if she plays games. Because when it comes to VTubers, I don't know whether they play games or not. Because some of them do, and then some of them don't. I hear most of them just play uh, Mario Kart. Yes. Because they play, it's, um, it's something they can play together in a group. And they can do, like, a big collab together. And then I mean, they can all... That sounds awesome, to be honest. Just I have nothing against them. Yeah, My issue, yeah, I paid to play Mario Kart all day. <laughs> to be fair, be I sick. don't think I could do it because as, as fun as Mario Kart is, I can't play it that often. I haven't played it in years, actually. I don't even know the last yeah, time. I did. Uh, yeah, I, I wouldn't know about like the recent ones. For me, it would have to be the, like Nintendo sixty four. I'm interesting. Interesting, you go with that. I thought you would have said the Wii. Well, yeah, because I mean, I, like that's very much so, um, you know, nostalgia bias. I never For played me, it. That that just feels like the best one to me. Hmm. See, I played the Wii one. So that's what I that's what I had. So I I can't say anything about the older ones. Oh, I played eight for the DS. Uh, real quick, you wanna you, back on PUBG Battlegrounds? 
You want to know something bullshit? This game, uh, I uh, my brother was really into it. He was really into PUBG, and he was like, "Oh, you fucking get it, get it." I was like, "Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll play with you." That game, I think it was like eighty bucks, or uh, like a ridiculous amount of money, uh, I, or sixty. I don't know. But that anyway, I had to pay for it. Yeah. Well, there's that. But you want to know what it is on PC? What? Free to play. <laughs> so fucking. Don't because it was Fortnite. Well, yeah, yeah. Which is but hilarious. You don't have to fucking pay for that on fucking console. No, for you some just have to sell yourself you, you just had to pay for it on console, and I don't understand. I, I didn't don't even... know either. I couldn't tell Such you. Such bullshit. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. I don't think about. Um... Yeah, I never got into those sorts of games. Still, still not a fan. Yeah. I don't like uh, live service. I'm also a big multiplayer guy. Yeah. My my multiplayer goes as far as uh, Battlefield Massive. Understandable. Even COD I've never played online because and I never could because yeah. I'm like no. Yeah, I, I yeah I was never never a multiplayer guy for that. I loved the campaign. Um, bullshit. No no no. Hey 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 hey. No, I'm... let me finish my sentence. Okay. Fucking hell. And then it wasn't until. I want to say I was big on Modern Warfare 2019, but it was Modern Warfare 2, the like the recent one where I was fucking up the multiplayer. I was I, like, Holy I remember shit, you I'm talking about World War games. 2's multiplayer when we were in school. World War 2's? And also the Black Ops. Like you played zombies. That's technically multiplayer. Oh, shut the fuck up. It is. It is an online. Yeah, and did you zombies, but... did you play yeah, it online I'm... with people? Like Logan and Copland, yes. but mainly that solo. counts. That counts. Well, yeah. Well, <laughs> yes, it is a multiplayer game, but just not in the context that I'm. It's still to multiplayer. Say, That's like it's. Yeah. <laughs> yeah what? Well, shut the fuck up. <laughs> when I say multiplayer, I mean the multiplayer six v six shooting guns at other people. But when I say the zombies mode. I'm talking about the zombies mode. Yeah, which is technically a multiplayer mode still. But yes, I yes. know what you mean. They are very, they are quite different. Yeah, very fucking different. Yes, one's actually fun. Correct. I say that, but I don't like either. And the other one is zombies. No, oh, oh, those are fighting words. But yeah, I don't like zombies that much. Absolutely, anyway. they're the fighting words. Yeah. I just couldn't get into it. I played it. I played it like a very few times, and I'm like, eh, it's. It's not my kind of. It's not my scene. Yeah, that's I, not I, my bag. When, when you had, uh, awesome when you were playing Black Ops Cold War, I really wanted to, like, at least play a little bit of zombies with you. Yeah, but no one was. No one else wanted to join us. Yeah, that doesn't matter. Could just be you and me. I also did not like Cold Divide War because them. I'm a history nerd, and yeah, just stuff in it was like, I'm like, my god. Okay, cool. We just started World War Three, technically. We just literally we had the fucking Kremlin. Cool, but okay, just ignore it apparently. Gorbachev be like, it's fine. I've got a big old birthmark. I don't care. I'm gonna go and dissolve the Soviet Union now and then appear in a um uh what's a Pizza Hut ad, which he did. He's in an ad for Pizza Hut as himself. It's quite funny. That was after he was like chair the last chairman of the Soviet Union. There you go. Fucking Pizza Hut had, had Gorbachev. What, what? Gorbachev. That's his Gorbachev. Name. Gorbachev. And Domino's had Hatsune Miku, so you know. Hmm. And the Dodgers have Gura. <laughs> Fucking what? <laughs> the Dodgers, the baseball team. They did. A, they did a whole live thing. Guru song, yeah. let's go out to the ball game at the stadium on a big screen. Oh, it was very weird. I, 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 was, I, was, that would have been so I know, I was seeing some stuff of it. Of like, big, well, the, the thing as well is because baseball fans are very superstitious. <clears throat> yeah. And so after that bit, the Dodgers started winning. And then there was this, and I read something where someone went and bought like merchandise of Guru. And they're that's like, I don't know who it is, but she's good luck for them. And I'm like, yep, that's <laughs> baseball fans. 
That's fucking crazy. I don't, again, Lord knows how true the story is. It was online, and most of those things are false, but I like, but it sounds believable. You wanna believe that. Yes, and, it's, and I could hard. see it being true. It's, that's the other thing. I mean, like, I know that they don't all talk like this, but I just, you know, all Cubs fans, where they're just like, hey, yo. That's because they're from Chicago. I like that, yeah, I like that, that 2D lady. Yep. She brings us the good luck. Uh, Chicago. What a, uh, what a place. What a fucking place. Boy, uh, one part of it's really bad. Very, 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 very poor. A lot of crime. <laughs> am I, hang on. Am I, am I'm not I, meaning it in a bad way, it's just a true fact. No, 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 no. Did Elvis write a song about that, or am I just mixing two things in my head right about now? About what, the Chicago Cubs, or about the south no, side about... of Chicago? Yeah, about just like about it being like it, <laughs> Maybe. in the ghetto. <laughs> why do I why do I associate that with with Chicago? About the <laughs> south side of Chicago. Oh yeah, in the ghetto. Yeah, is, that was. It, it actually is about that. Yeah, uh, uh, let's see. Is it actually? It's by Mac Davis. Uh, he remembered the f what? the friend what? that, that friend as you. Oh, okay. On a pole. It is. Yeah, it in is the ghetto, which all especially turned to a chart in the air. It was recorded in the ghetto. Yeah, yeah, yeah it is about that. Oh, there you go. How strange. But yeah, no, it's a. Yeah, no, the south side. The south side is a very poor district, and it's uh, got a lot of crime in it. There you go. Yeah. yeah, which is often the case in very, very poor, poor areas have a lot of crime. I know some people like to call racist. It's like it's not because there's plenty of white people that are poor there too. It's people of every ethnicity that there is poor, and they all have the same issues going on, or well, not quite the same, but because definitely there are still cases where white people get a bit of a better, better hand up of things. But again, Both. it's not always the case because it's like yeah, I'll, I'll admit that. Yeah, some of them, some white people probably do get a bit of hand up, but even then, still, it's still poor people, and a lot of people look down on them just for being poor and in that area. Ah, America. To, uh, I was about to name a, a place here in Australia, but I was yeah, like, oh, yeah. I probably shouldn't do that. That's. I, d I don't know if you heard, it was a funny bit. I was talking with um, Dee Dee when we were streaming Resident Evil 5 about uh, the show Shameless. Oh, yeah. Which is set in the south side of Chicago, at least the American one. Um, and I was saying to be very, uh, no, this was in response to the fact that we're getting an Australian version of The Office, which will fail after one season, because The Office isn't funny to begin with. Yeah, I said it. The Australian one's not going to be any better. But, um, but I was saying it'd be very interesting if we had an Australian version of, um, of, of, uh, of, uh, Shameless. And then Didi was like, that's just, that's Howzo's. I was like, yeah, I realised that as well after I first thought of it. Like, that's just Howzo's. Fuck it up. Yeah, what's yeah, the what's I've never the seen The Office. No, it's not funny. I don't think it's very good. For whatever reason, like, just a part of me, deep down in my soul, just refuses to watch it. I don't know why. Or at least, like... It's the same reason I don't watch Parks and Recreation. Yeah, well, because, like, I... It was back when I was still using TikTok. And, like, I would get clips from The Office come up on my phone all the time. And I'm like, I don't watch this. I've never seen it. This means nothing to me. Fuck off. Just the Chinese propaganda is like, we need to make him watch The Office. <laughs> yeah. And just so, just like, one just, guy, like, just one guy in, uh, in the government in, in, in China, like, we need to get this one guy to watch The Office. Put it in his TikTok. It's one more, and then the prophecy <laughs> will be complete. <laughs> but yeah, um, so yeah, you kept getting the TikToks and what happened? Yeah, and just like... Just wanted it to stop doing that, but it just kept giving it to me, and so like I just built up this small hatred for the for the office because mm. it kept popping up on my feed. I'm like, I don't care about this. Go away. <laughs> the problem with the uh, with the algorithm and how it works is that if you look at something for a second, yeah. it immediately is like, oh, yes. they must want to watch it, so then they keep putting it in there because you lingered. Yeah, for like a second. Yes. It's, if it's long yeah, enough, and, and I like... tell you what, that that happened to me with these. I've got no idea what the fuck they are, but it it's like 
th these videos would have like one view or like one like and it's it's like I don't know the, these like chibi little anime characters but it's like it's like one of those apps where you can make your own stories or something like that oh uh it's, it's called I, I know the one it's like um oh god is it Ghost of Life or something? Maybe. I, I, I know of it. It's is. really, really weird. There's a lot of, like, yeah. weird shit involved in that in that site, oh, yeah. yeah. Give anyone creative tools and they're making weird yeah, shit. Yeah, I, I know about <laughs> it because like, I've seen other uh, yeah. people on YouTube, like, discuss, yeah. the, discuss it and how it's like, there's a, some weird dark shit going on in this, yeah. I don't know. But either way, yeah, just, like, random... Like, those would just pop up. And I'd be like, what the fuck is this? And then... Like, another one would come up later, and it's like, why would I want to see- why would you think I'd want to see this? Mm. And I'd- and I even, like, would say, like, not interested. I do not like this. But it would just- but it wouldn't send it to me all the time. It would just be every now and again. And you're like, why? Why do you keep showing me this? It is weird. This I'd... is extremely strange. Yeah. Well, that's something I got a lot of, um, I've been getting a lot on Twitter of, uh, of stuff to do with Monster Hunter, and I blame Didi. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but again, I, I don't blame Monster Hunter, I don't care about it, but it just does that. I, I have tried to get into it multiple times. Didi wants us all to. I just, struck, I just don't have the talent, I yeah. guess. Yeah. It's also an MMO, and I'm not an MMO guy. At least Monster Hunter World is an MMO. Is it? Yeah. Oh. Well, you can't just call it an MMO when one out of the fucking... Hundred games. That game is MMO. one though. Yeah, but you said like. Well, I then I then said, well, it's an MMO, and I was like, well, Monster Hunter World is, and that's the one you probably have played because that's the one that DD has, and it's the one that's on console right at the moment. Monster Hunter World is not a MMO, is it? The new one is, yeah. It's online. Monster Hunter World, that came out like. Yeah, no shit, it's online, but it's not a massive multiplayer. Like, I'm not running around seeing a bunch of other people fucking fighting monsters. All right, you know, let, let, let me ask. Let me ask the internet. Okay. What, what does MMO stand for? Uh, simply like multiplayer massive... online game. Yeah. Yeah. It's multiplayer, not an MMO. It's like Destiny. Yeah, but I'd also say Destiny's kind of like an MMO, but not really. That uh, is absolutely an MMO. What so the how fuck? would you how would you say it's like Destiny, but not called an MMO? That, I mean, well, yeah, that's just fucking weird. Wait, are you saying that I'm saying it's like Destiny? No, this guy said it's like oh, Destiny. No, this, 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 oh, this, this, this thing right here said it's like it. That's, well, that's very strange. I know it's online. Okay, I, I don't know what to tell I you. mean, this is the other thing. We're also talking about terms, and people can argue what, what something is based on a term to the end of time. Yeah. Like, you know, like, you could argue... Like, for example, a big one that a lot of people argue is The Legend of Zelda an RPG. I don't know. Exactly. Some people would say it is, but other people would say it isn't. Sounds like a role-playing game. It has RPG elements? But is it an RPG? No. Like, I, I would say no, because it doesn't have, like, a leveling up system or anything like that, or at least of the... If anything, it's closer to a, um, if any, if, if, I would say it's a lot closer to, um, what's it called, um, a, uh, a world. Metroidvania. Yeah. That's good. Also, like, which, which one are you talking about? Like, any of OG sort of all. games, or... They all have the same sort of aspect, where they all, like... Like, besides from the two new ones, but even those two, like, you have to, you'll go to an area and you can't do something there until you have something else that you have to get elsewhere, and then there's secret paths that you can't access until you have some special thing that you can get until you maybe get elsewhere, and then you can go back and then do that. It's, that's why I'm saying, like, if anything, it's close to a uh, Metroidvania. If you think about it. Mm, yeah, 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 yeah. Because, like, to me, RPG is like what you're playing right now. Now, this is, this is a JRPG. Yeah. That's what they're called, yeah. Well, so, JRPG just means Japanese RPG, right? Yeah, because they're very different from Western RPGs. Yeah. They are. They have different... J uh, JRPGs had a lot more, and still have a big focus on grinding. They usually are quite more story-focused, 
Uh, they're usually also quite wacky and, as the only way to describe it, very Japanese. I mean, it's the whole joke of, like, you know, JRPG starts with, Find my lost cat, and then the end of the game, you're, it's like, time to kill God. <laughs> it's a joke, but it's accurate. But it's it's a joke for a reason. Literally, it, I've yeah. killed God in multiple of these games. Like, I've had to basically kill a God in, at the end of these games. Or something on the level of it. Even Sephiroth is, you could consider, like, on the level of a god by the end of FF7 when you have to beat him. I, I just learnt the other day that Sephiroth is is a... Like, that's a name of something. Hang on, I can't... Google it again. Okay, it has something to do with the Tree of Life, I think? Probably. It's like where his name came from. Which tree of life, are, by the way, are we talking about the uh, Kabbalah one? Uh, I wouldn't have a fucking clue. What the hell? What is a Sephardic Jew? Yeah, the, <laughs> yeah, Kabbalah is a Kabbalah is a Jewish thing. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So, so yeah, the, the, the Kabbalah is a tree of life, and that's and it is a Jewish. It's a Jewish thing. I don't know much about it, but yeah, it's it's an old uh, it's an old thing. You gotta remember the the. Judaism and the Jews yeah, are centuries, yeah. longer than centuries. They're like thousands of years old. Like they, they were from, they've been around for like three thousand, four thousand years. They they predated the Romans. Yeah, yeah. It's a very old people, and there's a lot to them. And there's a lot that there's a lot of stuff yeah. that was around. A lot of stuff's changed. A lot of stuff has been you know was either part of the faith or or changed from the faith. There's there's a lot going on with them. Okay, so the word Sephiroth. Support. I don't know how you pronounce that. I'm assuming it's just pronounced Sephiroth. It's uh, it's it's probably Hebrews. It's, it's probably a, it's probably pronounced like very differently than Sephiroth. But yeah, go on. Yeah. Uh, emanation. It means emanation, but is also meaning <clears throat> counting. Also means counting. Interesting. Okay. Hence the Book of Numbers, which details the Exodus. And then it also says, Moses is regarded as an example of God's emanations, the Sephiroth, working through an ordinary man through divine purpose. That's interesting. So, so in yes. their so in their one, Numbers is the ex is Exodus. So in in the Christian Bible, in the Old Testament, Numbers and Exodus are two different books. I didn't even know Numbers was a book. Yeah, Numbers. Numbers is one of the books. There you go. I believe it comes wait, after wait, Exodus wait, or before Exodus. Alphabet. It is it is a bit of a funny thing when people talk about like uh about the Bible and it's like we are now going to read Numbers chapter one through verse twelve through thirteen. One, two, three. <laughs> well, you, do, four. well, do you know how the Bible is laid out with chapters and verses? Yes, yes, yes. I was gonna say I don't know how but, much I you mean, learned. That entire read. that entire book is just numbers. <laughs> oh yeah, that's how you read it because that's cause you, that, well yeah, cuz when they when they're, when they're giving a sermon. No, I mean like no no words, only <laughs> numbers. <laughs> there are a lot of names in the Bible. There are a lot of parts of the Bible where it is just and this man begat that and he begat that and he begat that and he son of that begat that. There is a lot of that in certain parts of the Old Testament. But I mean, you know, there's a lot of people involved in it. Like like uh like Lot who had his uh, who had his daughters basically get him drunk with wine and then while he was uh, asleep uh, not being drunk on wine they went and uh, impregnated themselves by him. Mm. I'm not joking. That happened in yeah, Genesis. Yeah, I know. I yeah, know. yeah, yeah. They're all a lot. And then the next wife, uh, and then, sorry, not the next wife. And then the next night, the uh, the daughter, the oldest one who did that, went to the young one was like, "Hey, yeah, I did that. It worked. Uh, now you do it." I'm paraphrasing a lot. There is a reason why, yeah. but it's it's it, out of context. It's funnier. In context, it doesn't make that much more sense. It's the final. Okay, it's, it can mean whatever you want it to, mean. and you're not meant to read it necessarily one through completely through. It's you're meant to. It's only certain parts of it matter. And people who are much smarter than me, who actually studied it, know how to properly explain it. That's why they're called theologians. Not specific, well, theologians are people who study any religion, but usually it's a specific religion. True thing. There you go. Mm -hmm. you They've been around forever. This might come as a surprise. While people like to suggest that uh, Christianity and Catholicism hate science, most of the uh, smartest people throughout history who came up with like a lot of the way the world works and figured out this stuff 
who were scientists, they were Catholic or Christian, and were in, and were funded by the church. It's cert it, in, in fact, the whole idea of Christians hating science is a more recent thing, and it's mainly evangelicals, because they're, um, insane. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to say anything nice about them, I don't like the evangelicals. They are also, uh, yeah, 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 they definitely don't, uh... I, it's not going to happen to me. That happened to you once, and I'm <laughs> also and I'm, and I'm and I'm talking about like, a I'm different not group. Repeat. I know, but I'm also yeah. talking about a different group. <laughs> I'm talking about normal Christians. I'm talking about that, but yeah, yeah. But yeah, I I like I I won't repeat what it said. Just like I know what it's still funny, said, just in case it gets you. But yeah, yeah, I've heard what he said. Situation. It was funny. It was just dead silence. Like I had just. Yeah, I don't even know why he brought it up. Or whatever. <laughs> you we weren't were there. About... You left the room. Oh, I, I don't remember. I want to say he was either watching something on his phone or we had we were talking about religion in some some fucking capacity. Oh, hang on, catch me on one second. Yo, what up, Nugget? Oh, we might even just finish up because it is about five, and it's probably going to be his dinner time. Oh yeah. Yep. Yeah, so I'll go save out here. Thanks for joining me for this uh, bit of grinding. No worries, man. Fucking yep. happy to be here. Yep. All right. Oh, love, thanks. Love a, good, love a good chat. Love a good yarn. No problem. Well, I gotta go quickly because I gotta feed Nuggets. So <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah. gonna end the stream, and I will see you later. Thanks everyone for watching, and see you next time. Bye.